Howdy, 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 my darling Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today, Aries, we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for the 1st of August. All right, Aries? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below. And give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out more than you ever possibly can know, Aries, and I really appreciate uh, for those that take the extra step to do that. All right? And let me know in the comments, like, how the tarot readings resonate with you, right? It's always nice to hear, as a tarot reader, darling, to hear from my peeps, right? All right, in your first row today, Aries, we're going to be unpacking your physical desires or physical pursuits that could be dealing with a career, picking up on a project, whatever. It's just dealing with the earthly desires. Your second row today, Aries, we're going to be tapping into your social life, all right? This could be platonic relationship or romantic, ex-related or what have you, darling. It's just your social life. And then in your third row is my personal favorite. This is where we get into the true spiritual messages. Uh, for you, Aries, and get into the predictions and what's happening for you in your life here. All right. Starting out this energy, though, Aries, we do have here the Ace of Wands stepping in. All right. Now, this Ace of Wands, this is a card of following with passion. All right. Some of you, Aries, you might be uh, surrounded by that Ace of Wands energy where it's like a lot of people are wanting to know, uh, get into Aries business. A lot of people want to be Aries's business here. Right. From a more internal standpoint, which I feel like is going to resonate with most people. Uh, Aries, this is like a sense of where f just I get the sense of like uh, building up momentum. Really, this is the time for you, Aries, to take action on projects when you have this Ace of Wands really blessing you here. It's like you're going you're sitting on a really strong solid idea here right and you may not have the, the logistics to back it up but you have feeling you have heart you have passion to justify it follow with that passion this week here Aries all right this is a week of where really like not to get morbid but it's just like you know when people make those intuitive like uh um decisions where it's just like you know what i actually don't feel like driving today right and if you chose to go out driving you saw that there was like a big pile up car pile up and you could have been in that right so that's how i feel like the your intuitive messages like the impact it's gonna have i'm not saying whatsoever that it's anything about driving that's just i speak in analogies aries all right so don't go getting anxiety right now about driving but it's just the impactfulness of your intuitive uh decisions right i could say the same example areas of where you intuitively might know like the lotto numbers right you trust your hunch at this time all right getting into your physical pursuits here very fitting for you aries all right you have the devil the six of cups with this temperance energy coming in for you all right I see for you guys at this time, Aries, it's like patience is key, all right? Patience is really what's key here. Because remember, darling, right? Of course, we have, Aries, this, if I can grab it, we have this Ace of Wands blessing, this energy for all three of your rows here. So it's like you have a passion, Aries, right? And you're feeling a little bit antsy, perhaps, all right? A little bit antsy, maybe for some of you guys, especially with this devil energy. It's like you want to get into the perfect situation um, before you start taking uh, actual action. For some of you, Aries, as well, I get like the sense of where it's like someone in your um in your life has been really holding back here. All right. It's like you it's like you feel the electricity in the room. You feel you feel something, but it's like they're not giving voice to the feeling, right? And you know that they're feeling certain things, they have certain thoughts, Aries. But I feel like you're just like this natural hunch of like understanding where it's just like they're not speaking it. And so I get like the sense of urgency for you, Aries. But what I want to be really saying at this time. With this devil energy and the six of cups here, I feel like if you push this, Aries, if you try to uh, quicken the timeline currently with this physical pursuit here, all right, with this desire that you have that seeming like this devil seems to have this hold on here, I feel as if that's where the problems were will occur. All right. So at this time, if you're noticing like that slow uh, traction currently, that slow buildup areas, if you're just noticing things and people just are not saying their thing, whatever it is that they need to say or whatever. All right. Give it some time here. All right. Just give it more time. Allow things to mature a little bit more. That's what I really am hearing with this here. It's not the sense of like what passion that you have is like, you know, it's not that you're th um, hopeful for the wrong thing. It just is not quite the right timing yet. It needs about like 10 more minutes to cook, I feel. Now in your social life here, Aries, this is where the fabulousness actually seems to happen here. You have the five of cups, the lover's energy, and the page of wands coming in here. All right. This is giving me a situation, Aries, of where I feel like this is somebody that 
you didn't really end on the best of terms with here this lets me especially obviously with that five of the cups this lets me know where it's like for you aries you might have tried to speak about a problem you you might have been trying to fix certain things but i feel like there was somebody that was just really stubborn or really didn't want to see things from a different point of view and i get like for you where you finally were at that point of where it's just like you know what i can't do this anymore right so because i do sense that distance for some of you others of you aries this is someone that you are currently like they're still currently really relevant i see for you and currently like some of you guys you might feel like you're bashing your head against a brick wall with them right because it's just like either they're not speaking the truth they're being too stubborn and it's just like <laughs> you're trying it's you know how people say uh areas where it's just like it takes two people to make a relationship work well the fact of the matter is it's like you're trying to do both jobs of yourself and this other person to make it work but then you're also battling with the self-sabotaging nature that this person has. So it's really just like uh, you're being like uh, taking on all the burdens with some relationship here. All right. I get like for some of you Aries, you're getting like you're starting to sit on this um, thinking of where it's just like, you know what? Do I need to just release myself of this burden here? Is this really even worth it? You might be asking yourself the question. Some of you guys are being I get this sense as well due to this third row, the nine of nine and seven of swords with the eight of cups here. Like that's really what's been taxing you here currently aries i get like a strong sense that you guys need to start emotionally detaching yourself from these situations where it's just like you can't make that horse drink water aries all right you can't make certain people see things in the way that you see them you can't you can't live other people's lives for them right you can't help them see the way here and what i get for you aries is that you guys have such a vision for things there's things that you want to take action on there you have there's the method to your madness right aries and it's like your environment there's just like certain people that are just not open-minded or small-minded all right there are certain people where it's just like they are constantly just bringing up burdens for you constantly comp uh, complicating things aries all right so that's what i get for you guys here it's just like a lot of people are just coming at you with a bunch of bs and then it just leaves you at this place area so where you're just like because you're tender-hearted you're just like man like do i let go of these energies here you're like you're up at night and you're just like what do i do with these people what do i do with these situations here because it's like you're trying to make oil and water mix is what i get here with this it's like you can't it's like for you aries it's like you can't you can't uh further elevate yourself and for like take further progression with what it is that you want to do in the physical sense right whether it's career advancement whether you know whatever the your physical desires are currently i get like the sense of where the resistance is and where truly the devil seems to be manifesting is the sense of the people that you're around here all right i get this strong sense for you, a lot of you aries as well where it's just like you're going to start noticing yourself as you've been starting to mostly pull yourself back from these connections aries that just haven't been that again that have just been extremely taxing for you i get like this sense of where it's like once you finally chose like it's like you always have made the threat to aries of being like you know what if you do this i'm gonna walk out right it's always like that though those threats but i feel like for you aries it's like you finally walk out now it's like this person where it's just like you they you, they took you for granted for too long they finally pushed you over the edge but then i also get the sense here ace so where it's like they're going to be trying to communicate with you again and be like oh wait a minute like i didn't know you're going to leave and then you're just sitting there like as you aries and you're just like well bro i just told you like a week ago darling if you were not going to start reciprocating the communication darling and still just being one-sided then i'm gonna leave right or it's like for some of you aries just the sense of where it's just like i feel like you're just exhausted here all right i feel as if your life hasn't been able to really progress in the ways that you've been wanting them to progress with with your career like really with everything aries because of people right and i'm normally like my verbiage my other my regular aries can attest to this but it's just like i'm very much so internal with my messages where it's just like self-reflection and what have you here but i get this sense of where it's just like you're a flame in the middle of an ocean in the middle of people who are just like water all right i don't know i don't know where i was really even trying to go with that but other than just the sense of where it's like you are just so opposite of certain people and it's like for some of you aries it's like you haven't been able to do anything with your life you haven't been able to do anything that sounds good to you personally because like the people that you're always around they're just like oh well let's not do that that's silly that's dumb or what have you right very much so in that verbiage here 
and i don't know Aries. i just get the sense of like there's like this calling for you guys to really reevaluate who's in your circle here all right your spiritual team is saying with that four of wands directly right to their darling that it's just like hey like we can provide to you we can help you get aligned with more uh, people that are more aligned with your spiritual path here we can help you in answering your calling here but you have to meet us halfway you can't come at us with about all these burdens trying to ten of pentacles take on make people that are make it's i said this before for a zodiac sign a previous week but it's like you're trying to make a hoe a housewife or an or a house husband right you're trying to you're banking on potential for a situation for this person rather than just taking them for what they are and then choosing to move on from it right it's like because you see the potential in somebody you gave into this person like so many different chances here and i feel like enough is enough for you aries all right because it's like i see truly both with the page and ace of wands here once you start really allocating where your energy goes and who you surround your energy with here i had a couple farts uh girl did i just say farts <laughs> i had a couple cards here on the side drop off i'll pull up in a moment but i wanted to point out here just the consistency aries right so all this wand energy all this passion here okay so the cards that fell out okay darling you got the fool and chariot card that fell out here all right and i was like at, when these fell out i was saying it's just like the moment you guys start living for yourself aries right and start disconnecting yourself from the water and allow your true flame to follow suit right because all this wands energy this is your energy right wands is fiery that passionate energy and so then yeah to have these two cards come in like that's powerful actually aries when you think about it right to have these two cards fall out in that way is where it's like literally explaining to you aries where living for yourself not carrying on the baggage quite literally aries right the full energy is associated with the number zero because it's the beginning of the fool's journey and you'll notice like the fool is always notoriously known for i don't know if notorious is the right word for it but the fool is always known aries as the individual that carries nothing like doesn't really carry much they're only accompanied by their spiritual uh spiritual guide right not bringing other people all right and that's how you get the forward momentum that's you know the cherry energy is like the, i kind of call it like my tit for tat right what you put into the situation is what you're going to get out of it when you put coal, coal into the train the train starts running faster all right but you have to put in the effort to put the coal in, get the coal what have you all right and so that's where i see like this message here for you aries so where it's just like if you've been noticing that block here that major block <laughs> hello the story's writing itself here oh my gosh aries like this is getting kind of insane here we'll take okay we're done here all right <laughs> i really feel as though sometimes when i get into my rows here i'm really pulling cards aries i'll just go from the back of the deck and because sometimes i'll find that i oh, will tell the story here and like if the story continues writing itself we just unexpectedly got a crap ton more cards here so you got the two and ten of cups ten of wands here strength energy as well as the hanged man coming in here all right even afterwards is the seven of cups considering other options we'll get into this in a moment aries but listen up here you have the two of cups ten of cups and that strength energy that came out firstly all right that's not the where's the two of cups <laughs> i pulled out the wrong ones here all right i wanted to address this here aries all right the hard part for you you know the the strength energy is what i call my shadow work card where it's like the hard the, making the hard choices that you don't want to have when it comes to relationship someone that you had a close um relationship with right they were in your inner circle hanged man doing that 180 committing to a decision you know really kind of turning something up under you know sweeping the rug from under it here ten of wands because of the burdens tens representing closures to cycles here that's really what you guys are destined for aries it's like your path is lining up in such a way where it's just like and you know this yourself where you have to start finally admitting to yourself where it's just like you've outgrown certain people people or realizing people that you've allowed in your family people that you allow in your close circle they may just not be as good for you as you once initially thought right i don't want to just use like the words like the very like popular like everyone always says like narcissists and stuff like that it could just be this sense of where you thought someone was one way right because you saw the potential in them and then you realize once you start connecting with them that it just wasn't what it was given right for some of you aries it's like a sense of where you start connecting with somebody and you're just like you know what i actually don't want to talk to new people i don't want to talk to people right now i want to be on a solo journey all right and i feel like that's why a lot of you aries are feeling called to that so 
that's what I got for you, Aries. All right. So let's see. Let's do some Oracle cards just to wrap up your tarot reading here today, Aries. But yeah, oh, girl, these cards. <laughs> but overall, I'm feeling pretty positive about this. Teachability, hollow bone coming out here. This is the teaching moment for you, Aries, when it comes to this individual. Okay, a very much so a teaching moment. You need to start asking the universe, like, what is this here to teach you? All right, because that's what's happening right now. The pain, the the thoughts that you're having currently, Aries, there's something that you can really unpack with this here. It's not just because, you know, I feel like some Aries are like, or just people in general, sometimes will be dismissive of their thoughts or feelings about things because they're just so used to being like, oh, yeah, they're, you know, I probably have some type of mental problems, me just like, you know, projecting. It's not always the case, right? You have the lost compass coming uh, coming in here, getting back to integrity. Maybe certain people that you've connected to, or what if you what you have been doing for a while now, Aries, um, has made you lose yourself a little bit. Maybe you used to be more passionate, or maybe you used to be more free, more. I don't know the words. That, there's a specific word for that I want to be using here. Like I just feel as if you used to exude more of a Queen of Wands energy. You used to be more. Um, like you could take on or do anything and it's like certain people i don't know i just feel like there's certain events that have happened that has really taken away that flame and getting you off your course here yeah the wall coming in here obstacles coming in that was the block this is literally the wall all right that was the teachable moment for you aries is this sense of like getting back into your integrity getting back into alignment with the type of people that you want to surround yourself with here all right for some of you aries you just had to have like the humbling experience of just accepting that um some people just were not in the way that they said they were or just what have you all right so really powerful reading here aries thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to do this if you enjoyed it give this video a like and subscribe all right um it really does help me out a lot if you want to book a reading with me simply velka.com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both being some simply velka all right same as here until next time though aries i love you so much darling bye